Steve, thanks for joining us and giving us a chance to just have a reflection of what's gone on the last few weeks and to look ahead to a busy time in the season. Uh, if we start with Wasps this weekend and the yep. Anglo-Welsh Cup, great performance by a young squad up at the Rico Arena to take Wasps 20 match, 14 month unbeaten record away from them, but probably tinged with a little bit of disappointment that the boys perhaps didn't get the reward they deserved. Yeah, I think there's, there's definitely a little bit of disappointment, but I think when we set out into these tournaments, it's obviously a massive development tool for us. Um, I think over the years, we, I mean, we haven't had such a successful campaign, but I think some of the young boys have really stepped up the plate. I think the way they've developed, I think for, for the young coaches as well, but as senior coaches, just to be around it, see these boys grow in, is really pleasing. And then we're lucky to have the likes of Joe Beeman and Jonathan Spratt around the group, guess. And then there's obviously a huge link for us in the B and I. Um, the boy, some of the group that stepped up from B and I to the Anglo Welsh has been really pleasing. They've had some good results. They've had some tough times as well. But I think this shows what the Osprey character is about. And they've the B and I boys went to London Irish, took um, their unbeaten record away, and then going to to Wasp was really pleasing for us. And I think for us as a squad, it, it's 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 really energising and, and exciting. If you touched on the PNI Cup campaign, has that made things a little bit different this season and a little bit better that rather than just a squad coming together for two weeks in November, two weeks in January, February, there's been something a bit longer for them to target. They've worked and trained together as a group for longer throughout the season, coaches involved with them throughout the season. It's allowing them to actually build up head of steam going into the Anglo Welsh. Yeah, it's definitely, and I think it's testament to, to the young coaches. Um, and also the players that have come in, they've shown a real appetite to work. Um, there's really good understanding. I think a lot of those boys spent the summer with us as well, which was, which was really good. And then you see in the likes of Joe Thomas, Jay, Tom O'Flaherty, they're starting to flourish, that's just naming a few. But yeah, I think all round they've got a bit of confidence. They've had a couple of good wins against Connacht, taking London Irish at scalp was, was really pleasing for them. Um, and then it's just built into the confidence and I think in around off the back of the first two rounds I thought the boys are really unlucky against a real strong Harlequins team and probably should have got a little bit more to that game and then beating the Blues and then playing a real strong Bristol team was pleasing and I think how the fight they, they, they've shown in around it and how they showed a lot of skill in particular up in Wasps scored some really good tries really positive and I thought the young halfbacks Aubers and, and Pricey really stepped up and I thought um, when we even went in the lead, I think it was 24-22, they didn't panic, we still tried to play, played a way out and, and obviously scoring a, a last minute try to, to take, take the scoreboard away was, was really pleasing and I think, like I say, there was a tinge of disappointment but I think for the young group to see senior guys like Joe Beam and Jonathan Spratt get their 100th game, the, the passion, the, the, what it means for them to represent the Ospreys, I think for the young kids to see that, the James Ratneys, the Beards of this world, Rowan Jenkins to see what it means for those guys to represent the shirt in an Anglo-Welsh game I think it was huge and the emotion the change room was a real good buzz and around how like Jay Baker's performed then you got the old stage of Beeman performing and we, we spoke about representing the jersey and making sure the performance was there to hopefully those boys will remember those 100th games and, uh, and I think when you go and beat Wasps away from home it's really good and I think it's really represented the group well we talk every year in the Anglo-Welsh Cup about development mm. and bringing youngsters through, giving their opportunity, perhaps being a bit more important than the result. Mm. This year we've clearly had development. We've had nine boys make the debuts in that competition this season. Yeah. We had six boys in the start in 15 on Sunday with less than five appearances than anyone mm. in the match. Yet we've also delivered results and performances as well. Um, so when we beat Bristol at the death last weekend... We know we're going to wasp him with a chance of getting to the last four. How difficult is it, coach, to balance up, keep into your vow and do keep in what we've said about putting development first and actually looking at it thinking, oh, it'd be nice to get to the last four. You know, how do you wrestle with that? Yeah, I think I don't think you wrestle with it. I think you, you set your goals and your targets and that's always been a development competition for us. That doesn't mean to say that we don't want to win games. It's, we, we base it on performance and I think we've done that in particular this term and I think... If we were there thinking about top, the, the, the four, we could have brought some more senior guys in, but we didn't do that. It was something about the reward, and I think even if we did get to a semi-final, you'd still win a reward to those players that, that have got them there. And the performance, the work ethic they've put in, and in fairness, that, that group, they were back into work 
the day after recovering, getting prepared for zebras, and I think, which is really pleasing. You've got people who've put their hand up to put themselves in for up for selection through the next block of four games, which are huge for us in 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 the season, and it's something that. Yeah, I think it's just a huge achievement for the boys and it's definitely about performance. There was no talk last week of potential semi-finals. It was all about performance, getting our detail right and making sure we turn up with with the right attitude up in the Rico. Um, if we performed, we, we thought the outcome would look after itself, and which, which it did turn up that way, which is pleasing. And some of those young boys that you mentioned earlier, how much are they going to take from going to somewhere like Conry, Rico Arena and getting a win like that against a good Wasps team? Yeah, I think it's it's good for the confidence, and I think it's not it's not just in run of B and I. I think it goes back to the start they had in Arlequins. You go back to I can remember watching the boys in the B and I done the Nol in the the London Irish game. Even though we didn't get the result that day, there was the right attitude. The application was there. Sometimes you're not quite good enough, but it's about growing and developing. And I think that when we put the focus on development, in particular these competitions, I think it does help. A couple of wins always goes a long way to build confidence. And I think off the back of us beating the Blues, good performance against Harlequins, we've gone on a pleasing run, and whether it be League, whether it be Anglo-Welsh, whether it be B&I, whether it be in in the Challenge Cup, is something that we, we're really pleased with. And I think that goes right throughout the group. There's a confident group at the minute, but I think it's not a group that... And we'll make sure as coaches and senior players, it's not a group that I think they can turn up and play. They know they've got to put the work in weekend. They know they've got to do the detail, whether it be extra skills, their homework, recovery. We speak about all time nutrition. It's something they know they've got to get mentally prepared, do all the bits and pieces that add up to performances and hopefully we'll have more outcomes further down the season. Obviously we talk about the development as well. It's not just about developing the players. We've had Richard Fussell and Tom Smith around the environment the last few weeks, mm. having done a job with the British Irish team as well ahead of that. Mm. Yeah, how has it been for them? What, what have they gained from it and how have you enjoyed working with them? Oh, it's great to see the energy in around it and the, the, I love their work ethic and what they're trying to, to achieve with the boys. They don't get frustrated, they just concentrate the job at hand, but also the young conditioners coming in, young physios, it's, it's the, the whole programme is developed to, to hopefully get people from within to come through, obviously bringing in people around it, but it's it's right across the board, it's been pleasing to get new faces in, see different people, have and in particular for them to grow and have experience themselves and hopefully then that gets passed down to the young group again and it's something we, it's been huge for us and myself in particular coming through those sort of systems has it, provided huge rewards and amazing achievements for us and it's something that we were not going to go away from it's, it's huge for us and in our own squad terms coaching is something that's, that's really pleasing and I think the club needs to take huge credit for what they do in our own development system whether it's players or coaches physios alike. Yeah.